All right, I'm back. Time to ramble. And I'm, I'm in a little bit of a mood just because I've just been busy at this place. Dealing with people trying to get custody. It's like extended family members want custody of people's kids. Like, damn. Because the uh, other person is on drugs, strung out, and whatever. Like, I don't get it. How the hell does your life get to that point? That drugs and shit are more important than your kid? I don't understand that. I never understand that. And unfortunately, that happens so much at this place I work at. What is wrong with people? How do they put this crap ahead of their kids? I don't get it. This is something I really don't have an answer for. Because... I've never experienced it. I just don't understand why people do that. I mean, yeah, I had lived in with the alcoholic stepfather, I told you. So in some ways, he put that above us. And I don't know why. I wish we could have had a dialogue. I was immature enough to handle it. I just shut down when that shit happens. Because I felt helpless, powerless. I mean, the guy was bigger than me. But I just don't understand that. Why are you putting something like that above your family? I, it happens all the time. All the time. I don't understand it. With the knowledge we have today of what this stuff can do if you put it in your body. And people still do it. It makes no sense to me. We've come a long way as a society, technologically. I mean, for crying out loud, I'm holding a video phone in my hand recording this right now. But as a, as a species, we keep repeating the same problems with that. I mean, if you don't want to have kids, don't have them. <laughs> Put on lots of protection if you're going to have sex. But if you know you're not in a place to have them, don't. The losers in this case are the kids. You can save for a lot of heartache, a lot of anguish, and you could be, that kid could grow up to be even worse than you. I mean, there's a saving grace when someone can step in and help raise them and put them on the right path. But why does it have to come to that? Why can't they be born into a nice home, into a nice place, and a nice family? Why do people keep having them in bad neighborhoods, bad parts of the world? And be, think of yourself too, if you, if you really don't want kids, then don't. There's nothing wrong with that. Put it off if you're not ready. Maybe there should be a class in child rearing in, in high school, for crying out loud. Because that's the age you can't get pregnant. And I remember every year in my high school years, there was a girl who was pregnant from 9th grade up to 12th grade. Hey, granted, I, sometimes wearing protection and all that isn't always a guarantee. But... It's better to be safe than sorry. I mean, look at the circumstance, look at the consequences that could happen if you're not ready. Are you going to be there for a parent? Don't you want to be present and caring and loving and supportive and be a good role model for your child? Educate yourself for crying out loud. there is more information out there than before. Just don't be stupid. Don't go banging each other without using protection and be aware of the consequences that could happen. I know you could get caught in the heat of the moment. I understand that, but think a little bit beyond yourself. Think 
think of the potential child you could be creating. Because then down the road, things can happen that this person's fighting over that person, and this person has to step in, and it's just not fair to the child, man. Got to change it. Because it's just these people keep making the same mistakes, generation after generation. It's ridiculous. I say do some research. Think about it. Really explore yourself before you do that. And that's my end of this rant on the bridge. Bye.